everybody, welcome to Be Built by Rosa here live from Gold's Gym Venice. Before I get started, I actually just want to thank everybody for who's been watching the show. The numbers have been growing, the people watching it. We have a lot of viewers who have been with us for many, many years, and we also have a lot of new viewers. You guys have been making a lot of great comments, uh, and we really, really appreciate it. Uh, Dave, myself, and of course, Jay. Uh, so I just wanted to get that out of the way. Uh, and on today's show, actually, we're going to shoot, like I mentioned on last show, we showed some variations on some pull downs for the back. Uh, today, we're going to do some variations on different types of rows. Uh, so, cable type rows and also regular bent over type rows, those type of things. So, we're going to show you some variations of that. And then also, we're going to bring you some coverage from this weekend's West Coast Classic held in Riverside, California. Very, very huge show. Thanks to Chris Menez for putting on such a great show along with Lonnie Teeper. I have a few people on the show. Tamara Mack is going to be doing uh, women's physique. Kim Bridges, my better half, is going to be doing bikini. And Mark Durando is going to be doing not only men's open bodybuilding, but also men's classic physique. So hopefully you guys enjoy the show. Okay, so this movement here is a low cable row using an incline bench and a close grip bar. The bench is set about 70 degrees but this is something that you can vary all the way down to about 30 degrees to hit different sets of muscle fibers you can also vary here where it's attached at the bottom if you have an adjustable cable you can move the cable up a little bit higher from set to set or workout to workout again to hit different muscle fibers it's keeping the elbows close to the body on the way up getting a good squeeze also a full stretch and again, because we're keeping the elbows close to the body rather than away from the body, we're working mostly the belly of the lats rather than the inner back. This is a terrific movement for trying to get full development in the back and to fill in all those holes you may be missing, especially if you're a competitor. Okay, so this movement is done on a seated cable row, but we're doing it unilaterally, one arm at a time. And what I have Dave doing, as you can see, I have him positioned with his foot on the pad that's uh, on the opposite side of the working arm. The other leg on the same side of the body, the working arm is by his side and he's going to stretch over his body. As you can see, this is a dual cable system. So he's able to stretch over his body towards the left side of the body and pull with the right arm He's keeping the elbow close to the body as he brings it in, sliding it across. So we're very, very strongly working the lat. He's keeping the chest up. He's not leaning back or forward at any point in the movement. Getting a good stretch and a good contraction. A great unilateral movement for the back. Okay here, so now we have a high cable row. Again, using the incline bench, which I'll show you in a moment. And as you can see, he's using a rope. This movement, is really really excellent for working the inner portion of the back the mid traps the rhomboids because as you can see as he brings it back the elbows come out to the sides of the body as he brings it forward he moves his hands closer so you can get a full stretch I have the bench set probably at about 55 or so degrees and the pulley is not completely at the top but near the top making it more of a row than a pull down He's keeping the movement very strict. He's bringing the chest out at the top and squeezing back as far as he can. And again, you can vary the incline a little bit and also the height of the cable. Great isolation movement for the middle of the bed. Okay, so this movement is a variation on a regular one-arm dumbbell row. We like to call it a Merlin row. Dave is set on an incline bench set to about 35 to 40 degrees as you can see he's got the same leg as the working arm back behind his body he's got the other leg down underneath him and the non-working arm wrapped around the bench to stabilize the body as he brings the dumbbell up he's bringing it up and back towards the hip this works the lats also keeping the elbow close to the body this is a great strict movement really forces the work into the lats no momentum or anything like in a regular one-arm dumbbell row great movement for the back 
Okay, another variation on a one-arm dumbbell row. Normally when people do one-arm rows, they keep the elbow close to the body, but now we're looking to work the mid-back. So this is a great way to do this unilaterally. He has the non-working arm just leaning on an incline bench. He's got his leg back behind him on the same side of the body as the working arm. And as you can see, as he's pulling up, he's keeping the elbow out wide. So now he's working into the middle portion of the back here. This is a great movement to substitute, say, on regular bent rows. Because you're working unilaterally does give you more force production. And it gives you a better isolation in the same side of the body you're trying to work. Give these a shot next time you're training the middle back. Hey, this is Lonnie T at the pre-judging at the 2019 NPC West Coast Classic. And I'm with the magician, <laughs> Merlin the Magician. You're here again. Full support. I appreciate it. Always here at the West Coast Classic. Love this show. Love to support the show. Love to be at the show. Love to bring athletes to the show. Always. And we love to, you to bring athletes to the show and support the show. You got another good crew this year. Who are they? I got a great crew coming. Uh, I'll, I'll grab the first person here on my left. This is uh, Tamara. And she's doing women's physique. As you can see, she's doing the short class of women's physique because she's quite tiny. And uh, she's going to be bringing it serious to the stage. She's completely ripped to the bone, so hopefully that'll play well with the judges. We have uh, Kim. We'll bring her over here. Is that, that's a B Bakersfield bombshell. <laughs> it's a Bakersfield bombshell. She's from Bakersfield. Bombshell. Bombshell. Bomb bomb mama. She's a bomb mama. Yeah. She is a mama. Uh, and she's be doing. She's going to be doing a, a bikini in the uh, masters class over 35. And also in the B class of the open bikini, mm -hmm. so uh, we got her, and uh, then we'll bring over one more over here. Not Superman. We'll Superman is back. I'm back again, Lonnie. <laughs> Superman. <laughs> Does this guy look like Clark Kent or what? Yeah, so we got Superman here, and uh, we uh, have him in the heavyweights this year. He's been he's been a light heavyweight. We're sort of transitioning him now to the heavyweights. Uh, moving him into the class slowly but surely. He's going to be bringing a very, very a much different package this year, about 15 pounds heavier than last year. Uh, he was in the USA last year. He did the light heavyweights, but uh, his body just wants to grow. So uh, he's going to be a heavyweight uh, in this competition, and uh, we're hoping to have a really, really great show here. We're looking forward to it, as we always are. Uh, you guys put on a great event every single year, so uh, we'll have some fun. Yeah. Superman, you ready to fly? Always ready to fly, ready to step in, and you know, like Coach said, we're going to bring the best package. Um, again, 15 pounds compared to last year, and you know, I'm here to have fun and you know, make a statement. How does it feel to be the Bakersfield bombshell? <laughs> uh, Official title. I'm still deciding on that. I'm not quite sure, but I'm going to take it as the best compliment possible. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to move her from Bakersfield to L.A. and make her one of the L.A. bombshells because I think she's she's done with Bakersfield. <laughs> and you are living in? I'm actually Tucson, Arizona. So drove out here last night. Where the University of Arizona is. Lily Wildcats all the way. <laughs> you ready? Oh, I'm ready. I am very ready. Are you ready? I'm very ready, yes. Are you ready? Always. Are you ready? I am absolutely 100% ready. Any, and especially any time that you come over and interview me, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm ready to end this interview. <laughs> For Merlin, this is Lonnie Teeper. Biggie, you have some good news today. Yeah. <laughs> some good news, yeah. Uh, Kim here took the Masters 35 and over B class. So we're very, very, very happy about that. We actually was a little unexpected. Uh, and uh, so it was a really quite a nice surprise at the end of the night for her to uh, earn that victory. How do you feel, Kim? You get a big chocolate medal. Yeah. Uh, it's like a big chocolate coin. <laughs> Unwrap it and eat it now. <laughs> no, it feels great. I'm, I'm very excited. It feels really great. You know? Yeah. That was your best so far. It is my best so far. You know, I... I wasn't able to get the judges feedback after the California State Championships, but I knew I needed to come in tighter and leaner. So we worked really hard over the last four weeks to do that. So I'm really happy with how I showed up today. So I'm very excited. Uh, I will be competing again sometime this year, but I'm not decided on what show just yet. <laughs> Let Merlin decide. Maybe. Yes, but I am. But we are going to take. I wanted to take a week off the gym and a couple of days off the diet 
let her body relax and everything, let her mind relax, and then she can go back to the grind and we'll figure out what we're going to do. What are you going to eat next? What are you going to eat? Donuts. Donuts? Last time oh, I was so in it. <laughs> yes. Wake up in 24 hours. She's been craving donuts for the long, well, not for that long, for like a couple of weeks. So there is a 24-hour donut place right by my place in Marina Del Rey. So we're going to hit that up on the way home, and we're going to get her all the donuts that she wants. And uh, maybe I'll get a couple of them, who knows. And uh, we're going to have some donuts and have a little donut party. All right. Let's talk to Mark, because his routine was unbelievable. I watched it from the stand, and I was just like blown away. Super routine, awesome. Thank and he kind of got a monkey wrench thrown in the thing, because he was actually thrown the super heavy which they never do, they haven't done that since the 90s. So they actually not, uh, didn't have a super heavy class. They mixed the heavy and the super heavy, so of course that's what I expected. Um, you look great though. Yeah, I mean, despite going against a couple of super heavy weights, I still brought in the best package from the California, so we made the progress that we yeah, set out to and do. And that's all you can ask And that's for. all I can do. And the posing routine, the crowd was on fire, that got they me more motivated. They you, dude. They were it, behind you. Know, it was awesome. awesome, yeah. It got me more fired up, and you know, that's how I could end the night and end the show. Yeah, so, that routine was on point, man. I wish I had it on, on camera, but uh, the music gets flat. Well, I got it from them, so I'll get the uh, footage yeah, from yeah. them, so we'll right. see. That's it, Biggie. Yeah, back to the grind after this. Back to the grind after this. Um, like I said, I just want to reiterate that uh, you know this is Mark. We're sort of transitioning him from the light heavyweights to the heavyweights now. It was unfortunate that the three guys who placed in the top three were all super heavyweights. You know. Uh, so I and think he would have done better uh, placing wise in the light heavy. Yeah, yeah. He was but, in really good shape. but he's but he's his body's fighting de getting down that low anymore. I oh, mean, really? Yeah, it's no one, matter it's what. He's responding better to nutrition. Uh, so now I want to absorb and so, get bigger. Yeah, you're kind so, of screwed now. So, so yeah. yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on it. We're gonna try to build him into a true heavyweight. In 2020, all you need is 20 pounds. And you're good. Yeah, I mean, he, and he's well. <laughs> that's the goal. I think. I think he can. This, you know, next year he compete at 215 or something like that with the same condition, if not better. Yeah. The guy who won his class literally weighed over 270. Yeah, so this is this is what he was going up against. So it's pretty crazy. He's going to the US in five uh, weeks, so yeah. Very very happy with the way that he looked. He improved. Is his best over overall shape and his routine was something that we worked on together. I really wanted him to do something special for his routine. Uh, so it was the first time I got back into uh, doing choreography. Uh, Mark just sucked it up and then just he did an amazing job and great. the crowd loved it. And I, it's great to see that kind of that kind of posing, which you don't see a lot anymore, uh, mm -hmm. uh, because it really gives the crowd something to cheer for. Awesome. And, uh, well, that was a victory for me for tonight. It was that, that the was crowd the cheering. That was my victory. Yeah, yeah, the people, yeah, the people behind me. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I, I, I should mention Tamara, who's not here. Mm -hmm. uh, she left a while ago. Uh, she got third in her class of uh, women's week. Uh, the, I have to say that she peeled. was the most. She was peeled. absolutely yeah. peeled. The probably. If not the best conditioned athlete in the entire show, one of the best, uh, and uh, I don't know why they didn't go after yeah. that look tonight. They went after more size rather than the peeled look. Uh, so we'll just go back to the drawing board and work with her too, just like we do with everybody else. But overall, it was a great show. All right, congratulations, guys. Thank, Thank you. Happy for you. <laughs>